What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Seth Lon Surgeon. And, uh, you already know what time it is. Tips to talk. people first off I have to ask you guys or try to figure out why you guys haven't taken advantage of this free code that's been in my description uh, for those who um, aren't aware I am an ambassador for jobber and freaking mosquitoes like I was saying, I'm a jazz, I'm an ambassador for Jobber, and in my the description to my uh, um, every video for like the last 50 videos, um, there's a link to get 20% off any plan, whatever plan you want to get, you get 20% off, and the cheapest plan is like 20 bucks, so you get 20% off 20 bucks. That's not bad. And then you get a free trial for like a week. So, uh, if you are looking to get a uh, lawn care or business program that helps you with invoicing, scheduling, and filing for taxes, the link is in the description, people. So, check it out. Yes, sir. All right, people. I am doing what I do best. As you can see, your boy got that fresh cut. A lot of people be, be it's kind of greasy. Oh, Seth, you need to get a haircut, but oh, Rocky Barkey, that's not. He be in our yard barking at other people in their yard. Like, like why are you barking at other people? They're in their yard, like. Rocky, Rocky. <sighs> uh, what else I was talking about? What was I talking about? Doing what I do best. Y'all see the smoke? Y'all see it? I know you see it. I know you see it. Any of you. <laughs> um, I actually started spray foaming my trailer. I started spray foaming my trailer. My signs are on deck. Um, they, they sent me an email probably like two days ago saying that they're ready for pickup and um, so I'm like man I need to get on finishing my trailer so I can put it on my trailer you know there's no point in me picking them up if I can't put them on a trailer so I spray foamed it I started spray foaming I think I'm gonna need one more can but I'm gonna post that video tomorrow um oh yeah oh yeah yeah the the fresh cut can't skip over the fresh cut a lot of people been getting on me it, it was a guy oh my gosh where this man go <whistles> this dog right here see I got a leash for him I'm trying to be nice and let him roam He's trying to be wild. Anywho, somebody had got on me, right? See, see, people don't understand. In order to grow out a full beard, you, you have to have some rough days or weeks, so to speak. You just got to let it grow. You got to let it grow. You got to let it fill in. And in my rough stages, somebody had made this comment. I mean, I don't even know who it was. 
um, or whatever, but saying, oh, Seth, you need to get a haircut. That's probably why you don't got subscribers and this and that. And boy, oh boy, y'all know me. <laughs> I was about to go in on it. Him. But he got he got saved. I want to say he got saved uh, because I was so busy and I had other things to make videos about, and I didn't have time to make the video I wanted to make about that subject. And then coincidentally, uh, he ended up making a post. Oh yeah, I see what you were doing. You know, he kind of apologizing for making the comment saying that I look rough and I that's why I'm not getting more subscribers so <clears throat> it kind of worked out <laughs> cuz I was about whew, I was about to light them up anywho trailer signs on deck ready to go uh, just when I got my ID badge made for my uh, airport job, I'm gonna have to go do some training next month. Also, next month we got the gravely thing. Also, this weekend, like I haven't been trying to work on weekends, but you got to do what you got to do, people. So this week is so full. I gotta go out this weekend because I gotta start aerating and seating and my daughter starts school next week like actual school like kindergarten so that's pretty that's a pretty big deal so um yeah it is what it is people um I don't really got much to talk about trying to think a lot of times sometimes I got subjects to talk about sometimes I just freestyle let me see if there's anything in my phone for me to talk about I could talk about this <laughs> especially since I don't work for the state anymore state inspections bro getting kind of shady bro last couple years last year y'all remember I had the two lower quote unquote two lower ball joints on my truck that I needed to change so this year right <clears throat> I wanted to get my Magnum changed which is my wife's car now it used to be my car uh, went to get that inspected they told me I needed to get my driver's side outer tie rod change and my driver's side fog light change right this the, the sketchy thing about that was right was the fact that <clears throat> in 2017 was the year that I bought my truck the year that I bought my truck I specifically remember when went to get my uh, Magnum inspected. They told me I need a driver's side tie rod. Same tie rod. And they, I, when I went to Napa, they had a cheap version of a tie rod for like $18. Then they, they, they had a five year uh, warranty. Then they had a expensive one for like $56 that had a lifetime warranty. Of course I got the cheap one because in my mind I was about to sell my Magnum because my wife had a car at the time. She had a Honda. <sighs> After I had put the tie rod on, my wife decided, hey, you know, maybe we should just sell her Honda and she keep the Magnum. So I said, okay, that's fine. So two years later, 2019. Now they're telling me I need a new another tie rod, the same tie rod. And I'm like, Okay, I understand they had a five-year warranty, so it was a cheaper one, but two years? It only lasted two years? So I said, okay, whatever. Of course I didn't keep the receipt, because I didn't inspect it. 
I one, I didn't expect us to keep the car, and I expected to go out in like two years. So uh, I said, all right, I just change it because it's easy to, uh, to change the outer tie rods. Easy. So I got it back. A lot of people, what a lot of people know, I don't know how it works in other states. In Virginia, when a car gets rejected doesn't mean you have to get it fixed there that's why a lot of these companies um, do inspections because uh, they want you to think that uh, oh, oh um, it failed inspection you gotta fix get it fixed right then and there no you can tell them to put the rejection on it get the car back take it to whoever you know that fixed cars around the way or you can fix it yourself you get 15 days to fix it so that's what I told him to do. I said, you know, put the rejection on it, I'll fix it. So I got it back. <clears throat> I fixed it like the next week, and then the second week out of the 15 days, I got off of my wiring job early, and I said, all right, it's perfect. And I can drive over to my wife's job, which was across town, get the uh, car. I gave her my truck, then I drove all the way back around the opposite side of town, and went to the inspection place and all you gotta do is take it back to them they look at it they re-inspect it and you pay a dollar and you're good to go they just want to check to make sure whatever rejected is fixed so i went there and the place they was like uh we're not taking any more inspections for today and i'm like what i'm like mind you this is like two o'clock in the afternoon like two o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm like, what? So I'm sitting there trying to finagle this dude, trying to like sweet talk him into taking my car, and I'm like, bro, like, like, you know, like, you know, you can't take it. Like, what if I leave it and I drop it off? It's, oh, you want to drop it off? I said, yeah. He said, oh, okay, well, we could have it done by tomorrow. I said, no, I'm trying to get it done by today. They're like, oh, no, no, we can't do it today. So, all right, so I'm mad, right? So, I know my week's busy, right? I don't have any time to take it anywhere else during the week to get it inspected because my week's full. All my weeks are full. Um, <clears throat> so, I know on Saturday I'll be free and I can take it on Saturday. So, I call this spot that I know does inspections on Saturday. And I schedule them in the point and I say, hey, can, you, can I come drop it off on Saturday? They say, yeah, you come drop it off in the morning and it'll be good. Mind you, the only thing that was wrong when I did the first inspection was that left outer tie rod and the left fog light, right? By the time I was going to take it to this place on Saturday, it was going to be past the rejection, which meant I had to get a whole new inspection. So you know I had to repay for an inspection it was only like 20 bucks whatever so I went and dropped it off that Saturday morning these people are gonna call me and be like uh, you need four new control arms and your headlights are too foggy. I'm like, what? <laughs> so I'm like, okay. What? And the only reason I knew, even knew what a control arm is, because like I said, I, I kind of learned stuff, is because the year before, <clears throat> they told me my front two ball joints needed to be changed which uh i mean i mean people who know about cars know what i'm talking about but i'm trying to explain it for in layman's terms for people like all right so like i wish i had something round to uh, uh all right so say this is your rotor you know what i mean this it has the lug nuts and everything that uh, you, you know you put your tire on. On the bottom part of this rotor, there's a ball joint. On the top part of this rotor, there's a ball joint. And 
connecting that ball joint to your car is a control arm. It's a top control arm, it's a bottom control arm. So, um, they, last year they told me that I needed to train, change the ball, lower ball joints on both of my truck, on my truck, on the front. Now they're telling me I need to change the control arm, which is holding the ball joint. And I'm like, bruh, like, how is that even possible? How is all four? If you had told me, like, the front two or the back two needed to be changed, I would have been like, uh, oh, you know, kind of all four? It's still, I'm like, what needs to be changed? I'm like, oh, the bushings is bad and. I'm like, come on, son. So I said, all right, well, you can put a new rejection on that, right? And they said, uh, no, we're going to leave. We have to leave the old rejection on there, the original rejection. And, um, you know, once you get it fixed, you can bring it back. Light bulb went off in my head, right? I'm like, okay, so it's the original rejection from that first place that wouldn't take me because they said they were full. So I said, all right, I'm just going to shoot the car back over to that place. So I called, this, mind you, this Saturday. I called and I said, hey, can, if I drop it off today, can y'all do an inspection Monday? I knew, goodness well, they won't go do it <laughs> that day. They said, yeah, you know, you can leave it here. We'll do it Monday. Monday came along, passed, gave me a good inspection. <laughs> so that's, that's my inspection story. So I'm like... All right, there he go, being creepy. But um, yeah, that's my special story. But uh, let me go um check this meat. Uh, get in the house. But um, anywho, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. Yes, sir.